Thank you for joining me in Ron's Basement. We're going to start with some big picture subjects and narrow it down to silver, gold, the precious metal mining stocks. I have some interesting points that we need to talk about, but we need to talk about some important things first. Number one, this channel is for people like you who want to know more, that want to dive a little deeper. I get some comments from time to time that I'm negative, that I'm doom and gloom. I don't want to be negative. I don't want to be doom and gloom. What I'm talking about with you on this channel is what I actually see going on in the world. And when we dive a little deeper, sometimes what we see isn't very pleasant. But I don't ever want you to think that the world is ending or that we're headed towards complete doom and gloom. Secondly, this is not investment advice. I'm not selling you anything. I'm just sharing my opinions with you. You need to do your own due diligence, whether you're thinking about buying silver, gold, precious metal, mining stocks, whatever the case may be, make up your mind for yourself. I just like to share with you, like to point the flashlight at what I see as we go down this path together. But at the end of the day, you need to make your own decisions. And we spend a lot of time digging in the dirt, don't we? As we're looking around, trying to protect ourselves, trying to protect our families. That's why a lot of us invest in silver, gold, the precious metal mining stocks, because we want security for ourselves and our loved ones. It can get a little frustrating, right? We are a sliver of a sliver of the population. One thing to bear in mind as we do this, I was thinking this about America uh, because that's where I live. So that's where I have the best feel for. What I was thinking was this, like most of my fellow Americans, the issue is not that they don't agree with the other side of the story. It's more of an issue that they don't even realize that there's another side of the story. In particular, let's talk about the split that's going on in the world right now between the East and the West. Most people don't even realize this is going on. We have real warfare, but more importantly, we have economic warfare being waged right now between the West and the East. We have the West with their fiat currency, debt-based money printing system, and we have the East, which is moving more towards uh, currency, world currency that will be backed by real assets. Things like silver, things like gold, things like oil, other real assets. This is happening right before our very eyes, but 99.9% .9 of the people around us, they don't really care. And since it's not top story on the mainstream media, they don't even know that it's going on. Now we're going to start to narrow our focus down more on silver, gold, and the precious metals. But think about this. Things were already precarious enough in the monetary and financial world. The 2000 crisis, the 2008 financial crisis, the medical crisis that happened in 2020. Things were already dicey enough in the Western system, but now we have actual real war and economic war going on. Hey, you're always welcome here, always and forever, just like the value of gold and silver. You can always come back to the basement. Join me. Join the giant teddy bear. But bear in mind, I put out new content every day. You got a friend for life if you want to subscribe right here. Please give the video a thumbs up. Share it with everyone you know. Most important, leave a comment in the comment section below. I want to hear from you. The other members of Ron's Basement want to hear from you. Your thoughts, your ideas are important. Now let's get back to the video. And doesn't it feel like there's a shift in thinking, a shift in focus back towards real assets? I don't know. Am I wrong? Let me know in the comment section below. But it feels like it's happening right now. Now, I think it's undeniable that in the East, it's been stated. It's a fact. Their focus is becoming more on real assets. But is the West or more people in the West starting to show up? And is this renewed? 
focus in the east, is that why we're starting to see such tighter supplies in things like precious metals, things like silver and gold? And if we start to narrow our focus even more, aren't we starting to see huge demand? Countries like India importing almost 300 million ounces of silver alone this year. When we look at the inventories on the LBMA, the London Bullion Market Association, and the COMEX here in the United States, the major exchanges that trade silver and gold, we see inventory levels shrinking precipitously. And what do you find when you go to buy some silver or gold bullion? Aren't you finding that your local coin shops have limited, if any, supply? If we look online at the major online retailers, their supplies appear to be limited. And what they do have for sale is at ridiculous premiums. And the only way they could charge those premiums is if there was ridiculous demand. So we don't want to be negative. We don't want to be doom and gloom. And I don't have a crystal ball down here in my basement. I do have a giant teddy bear. Nonetheless, when I look out at the big picture, it kind of just feels like there might be a lot going on right before our very eyes that the majority of us, and sometimes even maybe me and maybe you, don't realize is going on. I could be completely wrong. But it sure feels like the big picture, my gut, my intuition, which I always seem to trust, tells me that things are getting very favorable for the value of things that are real. Silver, gold, land, oil, whatever it may be. We'll see how it plays out. Like I said, guys, I'm not making any definite predictions here, just sharing my opinions. And while there is a lot in the world for which we can be scared for which do look quite doom and gloomish. There's also a lot for which we can be really happy. Our families, our loved ones, the fact that we'll, most of us will have some good food to eat tonight for dinner. So make sure you enjoy yourself. Make sure you come back to Ron's basement. You are always welcome here. I'm going to look forward to seeing you next time.